welcome to another video today i am going to be doing another fabric stash video i think this is part nine but i can't remember exactly off the top of my head and i'm not going to look now because i could spend hours and i'll get lost and i'll try to I'll forget what i'm doing and go off on a tangent you know how my brain works so yes uh i have a giant pile of brocades cotton silk blends and then there's some other slinky stuff that probably should have been put in other places but I don't think it fits so that's why it's ended up in this pile so uh, yeah I have the fabric I have the pen I have the notebook I have the water so if you've not seen one of these videos before I'm sat at the end of the bed I have my chest of drawers pushed out I've marked on it a meter and a half meter mark so that I can if I need to measure the fabrics and I can work out roughly how much I have of it but so far I've actually been pretty good at remembering what I've bought which has actually quite shocked me because I think I have a memory like a sieve but it turns out for fabric not so much uh, so yes I have lots of lists oh gosh lots of lists so it turns out the last one I did was the lace and stuff that's how I have titled that list so we're going to do this one brocades and silks because that's predominantly what's there Okay, so this first one is not actually mine, it's Big Bird's. I have a lot of Big Bird's fabrics in my stash. Uh, it's a brocade, it is absolutely stunning, and uh, one of the things I like about brocades is technically you can use both sides because they are slightly different, but that is the right side of this one. And yeah, it's black with royal blue and gold stitching all over it. And I think I have this because Big Bird wanted me to make something for her with it it's very narrow that's it it is probably 55 centimeters wide it's very very narrow but I think mum bought her quite a fair amount of it but as it does not belong to me I'm just going to put it to the side and it'll be fine right so next up is this black well, let's get a bit closer so you can see it's kind of got texture to it but, um, it, well yeah it is texture but it's it's not like a solid black it has some interest in it but it's really drapey and uh, I have five meters of it I bought this from the Goldhawk Road and I think I wanted to make like tops and things out of it so this is definitely going to be uh, camisole tops uh, one of those cow neck tops that I, I make, they would be really nice in it, so five meters of that. And then I have five meters of this black rose skin and I got this from the fabric room and I got this along with five meters of black crepe and this is going to be the lining for the black crepe for a Vogue 8577. So not overly exciting solid black but there is a purpose for that one next i have this is again the rose skins it's a variation on peach skin i believe um very thin very light and fluid and drapey uh again i bought this as a lining fabric so five meters but then I used the fabric, the main fabric, for something else. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. It may still turn into a lining of some description. It could be tops. I don't know. I'm not sure. This is the same as the first black one I showed you. It's the, but it's in a stone colourway, beigey stone. So it's it has a bit of, I think you can just about see it there, texture on the actual fabric. But again, very lightweight five meters of it and it's going to be tops tops yeah <laughs> now this is absolutely amazing this is silk brocade from Karin in Germany and she bought me this and the bird pattern to do the to do the bird the dirndl challenge she bought me the ribbon the little fastening finding thingies that go with the ribbon uh, and I've got yeah just over two meters of this Oh, it's so beautiful. It's very narrow again. That's why she sent me way more than the pattern called for because it is, again, it, this one is probably 70 centimeters wide. So yeah, but I mean, that's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. 
I love it. So, Karin, thank you so much. This was a birthday present. Thank you so much for my birthday present this year. Like, thoroughly spoiled. As was Mum. We both love our presents. Mum's using that thumb ring, by the way. She, th she thinks it's amazing. It's beautiful. Thank you. So lovely. Oh, yeah, that turquoise could be a lining for this if it needed lining. That's a... Yeah. Good. Lovely. Uh, right, now this I got from the Knitting and Stitching Show, not this year, but the year before, and it's a, it's a stall that they just have loads and loads and loads and loads of stuff, and it's all really, 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 really cheap, and I've got this brocade here, which I'm going to show you in a second, and I bought this to use as a wearable muslin for this stuff, and... I'm not sure what I'm going to make with it as yet, but I just love the colours in it because it's kind of bronzy, coppery metallic with muted turquoise and beigey gold spots. But yeah, bought five metres of it, funnily enough. Now, I don't know what I want to make with this because I need to show you this one. Right, because this is going to be wearable muslin fodder for whatever this one turns into. So. This one mum bought for me and it's silver and turquoise brocade and absolutely stunning. And I don't actually know how much of this one I have because as I say, I didn't buy it, mum bought it for me. It is wide, it's fairly wide. And I would say it's probably three meters here. So one, yeah, I've got three meters. So, uh, and how wide is it? It's decently wide. It's not quite one and a half meters, but one, one, one thirty-ish. Now, so Mum bought, bought this for me back from her travels from one of the exotic locations that she flies to or used to fly to recruiting on a regular basis. So. She's not here at the moment, so I can't ask her where she got me this one. Making a root, right pig zero, folding it back up again. Um, but, now, I thought I would make myself an evening coat out of this because I really liked that idea. It's a fairly stiff fabric and not that I would wear an evening coat very often, but I do wear them. But... All of the evening dresses I have tend to already be patterned and quite in your face. So I was thinking maybe that's not the best idea because it wouldn't be practical. Not that an evening coat is a practical item, it's not. But yeah, I, I'm not... Do I then... My best friend suggested that I make a shift or a sheath dress and fit it in at the waist sheath dress out of this, which I also like that idea. But given that I reach for flared stuff more than I think of reaching for pencil style skirts on me, is that a bad idea? So yeah, I don't I don't know what to do with this. But I have three meters. So yeah, answers answers in the comment box, please. Help help me out. Help me decide what to make with this. Because it's beautiful and it needs to be made into something and I just need to fold that back up again in a minute because I've made a mess of it but uh yeah not sure what to do with that one not sure what to do with that one at all right now the next lot of fabrics are all from Spoonflower and I have three yards or 2.8 meters of all of them and there are a lot here so some of them I will need to open them out to show you the prints because the prints are on a large scale and then some of them I obviously won't because the prints you'll be able to see from just the unfolded goodness that is here but they're all cotton silk based which is unfortunately not a um, fabric that Spoonflower offer, offer anymore but let's get started right this first one is called space storm and i believe it's an actual photo of a nebula taken from like the hubble telescope or something and then obviously mirrored and repeated it's on itself now 
I bought these probably about five years ago now and I don't really know what I'm going to do with them. I bought them because I loved the prints and yeah back then my go-to amount like I say was three three meters so I bought three yards so 2.8 meters of each of them but I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I think I think this one I want to try and turn into a dress of some kind and I, th I think I have in my head what I want quite Vivian Westwood sort of short tight at the waist and kind of draped over certain parts I will try and put a photo up here of something that I'm, I'm similar that I'm thinking of so there's this one which is cubism chocolate cubism and again 2.8 yards I love this for coat lining and this stuff you can use as a coat lining you just need to use something slippery uh, for the sleeves because it's not slippy enough for the sleeves but yeah I just really like this one. Ooh, you know what this this would be awesome for my Kelly anorak that I want to do with the 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 with the, the brown cotton brushed cotton twill and the leather sleeves oh, yes this one this is going to be the lining yep done job so there's that one I think this needs to go into my July July pile of fabrics because it will fit right in it's ferns lots of ferns um hmm what could I make out of this one I could make a PJ set couldn't I that would be cute this stuff is lovely to sit around in Ooh. I don't think I would make the full-on Carolyn pyjama PJ shirt because that with the bottoms takes five meters and I have 2.8 so I don't have enough but I could make a little like a so a uh, Colette Sorbetto cropped top and some possibly the bottoms in this although I could just make the bottoms the Carolyn pajama bottoms out of this and then sleep in a t-shirt or use a t-shirt because that's generally uh, a go-to of mine although again this could be a really nice dress oh I don't know too many options I'm going to put a question mark because I've put PJs I'm going to put a question mark because I'm not sure oh this one I love this one uh, it's all clock faces and gears and cogs and things and E equals MC squared apparently so a bit of Einstein going on there um, the, yeah this needs to be a shirt this needs to be a shirt definitely this fabric is not it's not not drapey but it's not like super drapey it's a lightweight cotton not as drapey as cotton lawn I don't think uh, but yeah I think a shirt out of that one this one is definitely going to be a lining for a coat must ask, must ask you a question <laughs> you see what I did there oh gosh I'm so funny mm. yep I like that this is I don't want to play favourites but I think this is one of my favourites it's square roots so it's maths I mean it's not but it is isn't that amazing I love this one so much I think this one needs to be oh what does this need to be it needs to be I don't know I don't know I want to make a dress out of it I want to make pyjamas out of it. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I think pyjamas. I do think pyjamas. I think that's why I've got so many of these left is because I know I can't get the, the them. I can get the prints again, but not on the same back, uh, the same fabric. And I've got all of these ideas for them that I'm sort of paralyzed into not using them because I'm worried that I'm going to do the wrong thing and then not like it as much as I would have if I'd done something else. But I love this one so much square roots oh. <laughs> uh, oh now I really like this one as well 
this one is actually so this is one of the lovely things that i love about spoonflower is that i bought this fabric and i got an email from the designer and it was actually from the designer's mum because this was designed by a 13 year old girl and she'd scrunched up tinfoil which is exactly what this looks like it's tinfoil but i just saw it and i was like oh that's so pretty i really really like it and i want to make a dress out of this and it's going to be a going out dress so it's going to be short and poofy in some way or description and i just i just thought that was a genius idea as well it was so clever but it was just so nice to get the email and apparently she was so happy that like somebody bought her fabric so yes um this one is the surface of the moon and again i liked it on a large scale because it, it was really interesting and you can when you get up close you can tell what it is but from far away it was just pretty and yeah i again not sure what i'm going to do with it what would you do with this one i have actually bought this and the orion's nebula on canvas to make a bag out of this was going to be the lining for the bag um, so I have this on another type of fabric as well in my bag making stash, but uh, yeah, I like that one. Oh. Retro Atomic Foxes, this is so 50s this print and the foxes are so so cute. Oh I don't know what again, I don't know what I want to do with this one. See I bought a sample of this and I turned that sample with the moustaches into a pillow for my friend and unfortunately that did dis disintegrate, I think she washed it one too many times and the um, the print does fade off of these when you wash them and the silk does lose its sheen as well and for pyjamas that's not the worst thing in the world, they come, they, they do end up looking quite quite nice but it's not something you'd want for a garment so I think a lot of these are going to be dry clean only garments as well for me so um this is retro foxes so what do you guys think what should I what should I turn those guys into I'm not sure oh no this one so when you guys will have seen this before last year Renata from Running in Style did a 4th of July dress challenge so you had to make a dress with the colours from your national flag and I really I have this I've had this for ages and it is the Union flag but it also has lots of other things kind of on it as well and I really wanted to make to, to take part in that challenge and use this fabric to make myself a dress but like this time last year was ridiculously busy for me and I just didn't have time. I didn't have time at all. So I know what I want this to be. Again, this is going to be a Vivian Westwood inspired kind of uh, mini dress of some shape, form or description. You right about that? It's making a lot of noise. A fun fact for you, the uh, Union flag is called the Union flag. It's only the Union Jack if it's on a ship or a boat. So this is a Union flag print silk which I love not sitting straight right oh, I love this one too so this is okay so for far away you can kind of see that it's not not a polka dot but when you get close up it's the Starship Enterprise and the Federation and yeah I love this so much I love the color that it's on and I just yeah I just I, this needs to be a dress Star Trek I've put Strek. <laughs> Star Trek. Right. Okay, this is another geeky one. So it's a, a twelve fabric, very French, and then you get closer and closer and closer, and you realise that actually there are Daleks and Weeping Angels and Gallifreyan and a TARDIS on there, and yeah, oh, I love this so much. And again, this needs to be a dress. A dress of some shape or description. That's and again, I mean, if you've watched my Spoonflower fangirl video, you know that I'm a Spoonflower fangirl. Funnily enough, I gave it away in the title, but that's one of the things I love about that website is the fact that you can find anything that you want on fabric. It's amazing. Right, uh, this is one that I'm going to have to. This is called Arabian Nights and it's a border print and it's just so pretty, so so pretty. So 
I think this is going to be a KB Grace dress. So I'm going to use this, cut it, cut it around about here and use this as probably a box pleated skirt and then make the bodice out of this particular part and try and get it. Oh, I'm going to have to be careful so I don't end up with weird looking boobs, but I mean, that's, that's the perfect bodice part there. Obviously not on the side because I've run out of fabric, but uh, yeah, I really like that one. Next up, it's roses. And she does this in every colourway you can imagine under the sun. I have got another one in here, which is, do I have it in? Yes, I do. Uh, I have it in red. I also bought it recently on the satin and I lined a coat with it because I was gonna use this stuff, but the coat that I wanted had a super full skirt and I just didn't have enough fabric to cut it out of this stuff. So I had to order the satin, which actually worked out perfectly. Roses. And again, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I don't know. I don't know at all. I take these out every now and again and just stroke them because, yes. Now this is one that I'm going to have to show you because it's giant. Absolutely giant. But I love the colours of this and I like the kind of the little flowers going across the border. And then the giant flower in the middle. Just, yes is really pretty um don't know what i'm gonna do with it <laughs> and you there's a there's a running theme here isn't there all i can hear is her having a bath she's proper proper snuffling away back there oh this one oh. It's an underwater one with octopi and divers and mermaids and squids and sea snake horsey things. But oh, I love it. I love it so much. And uh, I don't know, pajamas? I, 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 I don't know. What do I do with this? It's so pretty. So, so pretty. Uh, no, I saw this one and I had to get it because it reminds me of the Little Shop of Horrors. It's going to be an Audrey dress. It's cabbages. But it is. It's, isn't it just... It's, it's the Audrey too. I love that film so much. But I think this needs to be a dress of some description. Oh, I don't know. Oh, this one's pretty. Okay, all of the botanists out there. What What is this uh, flower? Holly, Holly Fox? But it's got bumblebees all over it as well. It's really, really pretty. So again, I think it needs to be a dress. What one? I don't know. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. I mean, that applies to all of these. Now, this next one, I'm not overly sure why I bought it. I saw it and it's cute, but I don't own a pug. So... Why? Please help. Um, I think this needs to be PJs, doesn't it? They're very cute pugs. Very, very cute pugs. I'm gonna end up with a lot of PJs if I if I make all of the ones that I suggested into PJs, aren't I? Ah, oh, the fun! I love this one. It's equations. Have I got them the right way up this time? Well, I mean, in all honesty, does that actually? Would you be able to tell? Would that make does that now is it now logical and solvable i mean yeah apparently these are actual equations this is not math <laughs> this is not math as i know it but i just i really liked it and i want to make a shirt out of this because i think it would be very cool uh -huh. the red roses um so yeah this was going to be a coat lining but i think it now needs to be a top or a dress of some description to go with the coat that I've made because yeah I mean it works be beautifully as a coat lining but as I say I've already I had to do it, get it on the satin because I didn't have enough of this so I think this needs to be a dress to then be worn with that coat and then the final one I actually have a lot more of this but I had cut a sample 
to put up in the shop and it's Orion's Belt or Orion's Nebula as taken by the Hubble Telescope and apparently I have it folded very strangely. Um, two sex. Dad's trying to feed me. What's the time? Hmm, it's only 20 to 5. But, uh, anyway. So, Orion's Nebula on cotton silk. I have made myself some PJs out of this and they are glorious. So this stuff is amazing. And uh, as I say, I actually have quite a lot of this because I bought this to make ready to wear stuff out of which never actually ended up happening. Um, so I have <laughs> all the stock of the fabric, but this particular length is going into a second KB pattern swap parcel that I'm sending out because somebody wasn't able to take part. So somebody was left without a partner. So I've partnered up with that person and I have their pattern and I have some fabric for them. And I'm going to put in some munchies from the Isle of Wight in some way, shape or form, I think, and get that sent off to them as soon as possible. So, yes, but this stuff is lovely and it makes awesome PJs. Space pants. I mean, yeah, we all know I'm bonkers, don't we? Totally bonkers, but there's that one. So that is it for pile number one off of the miscellaneous shelves. Shelves? <laughs> so that is it for pile number one from the miscellaneous shelf. Now there is a lot of fabric there, there is a lot of fabric from Spoonflower there, and there is a lot of fabric that I have no idea what I want to do with it there. Uh, there's a lot of stuff there that if I could get more of it I would be I would be no problem I would make this dress or this dress or this or that uh, but because I can't get this anymore I have 2.8 meters of all of them and so I need to make something out of that length that works for me so a lot of these will be in fabric form for quite a while because I obviously don't want to ruin any of it and it is expensive fabric so yes these ones are these ones are head scratches, but I am very much looking forward to turning them into actual garments that can be worn. So that's exciting. And I'm pleased I worked out that I have fabric already to line my Kelly Anorak, the brown one. That's going to be awesome. I think that's going to look really cool. So that's cool. Anyway, I'm going to break this video here because as I say, I have three piles to do on this shelf and this is the smallest one. The rest of them are ginormous. So uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting, but I'm going to leave this one here. So I hope you have enjoyed this look through my fabric stash. If you have, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.